the greatest jets in the land. From LA to Chicago, New York to San Francisco Bay. Adventures about to come your way. Great ships, great city, great food. Lovingly prepared by the best great chef. Work their magic before your eyes. Great ship, great city. It's a feast from east, north, south, and west. Stay tuned. Oh, you're in for a delicious surprise. This is Great Chefs, Great Cities, a culinary survey of our metropolitan areas, showcasing some of the finest chefs in America. This time from Honolulu, Roy Yamaguchi. From New York City, Lydia Bastianich. And from Milwaukee, Sanford D'Amato. Roy Yamaguchi's youthful appearance belies a sort of restaurant juggernaut. He's not just a chef, he's an enterprise. In addition to this eastern Honolulu property, he owns restaurants on two other Hawaiian islands, plus at Tokyo and Guam. His Euro-Asian cooking is evident in this starter, smoked nirogi sashimi with ogo salad. Okay, what I have here is a nairagi, which is the uh, striped marlin. And what I've done is I've, I've coated the, uh, the marlin with... Uh, some black sesame seeds. Okay, you kind of press the sesame seeds right onto the marlin itself and just coat it all over the uh, entire marlin. And what, I, what I'm doing here is just getting a cheesecloth and putting the cheesecloth right over the marlin itself. Okay, and then at this point, what I'll do is I have a mixture of, uh, of dill, some basil, there's some uh, brown sugar, white sugar, and some kosher salt. And then what I'll do is just put this right over. What you want to do is nicely coat. I'll uh, just put all of it on there. Okay, what you want to do is nicely coat the uh, night the, the striped marlin or the night night agi. Okay, what you want to do is just coat this and marinate this in the refrigerator for about four hours. Now, after it comes out of the the uh, the marinade, what you want to do is lightly wash, or sometimes you don't have to, but you can just kind of let take take this right off. Okay. And if there's still some uh, salt or sugar mixture on top of the sesame seeds, you can wash it very lightly. And then what happens is, the next step is to, is to uh, pour some olive oil over the uh, fish itself. And then you can see this sitting in olive oil. It has a nice flavor of salt and sugar right into the olive oil itself. And then kind of marinate that for about 24 hours. And then this is the final product with, which has been smoked. What you want to do is cold smoke this. Uh, and of course, it depends on how strong your smoke is, but maybe for about an hour or so. Uh, sometimes it might take longer, sometimes shorter. But the process of cold smoking, if I can show you here, is what we do is we get a, uh, a kind of a sheet pan and then put some ice. What we're trying to do is make sure that the, uh, the, 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 the smoke doesn't go over about 75 degrees or about 25 degrees uh, centigrade. Um, and kind of cold, put that in a smoker and smoke it for about, again, anywhere between uh, 45 minutes to maybe an hour and a half, depending on the, uh, the smoke. And smoke that and take it out. So this becomes the, uh, the actually, it's kind of a, you can see here, it's, it's kind of sashimi style or, 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 or raw. A key ingredient of the salad is an Hawaiian favorite, ogo, a type of seaweed. So I have some nice ogo here. We have the red, we have the green. That was really nice. And then what I want to do is just make the salad. So I'll start off by adding the Maui onion. And I have some nice tomatoes, again, from the Big Island. A green onion. And I have some cilantro. Chinese parsley. Some nice bean sprouts. I'm going to make it nice and colorful here. So I have some carrots, some Japanese cucumber. What I do is uh, just use the, uh, 
the skin part. I don't really want any seeds <clears throat> or any of the softness of the cucumber into the uh, dressing or the salad itself. So I have some garlic, and a little ginger, and then I'm going to put some of the uh, some crushed chilies. If you like it spicy, just go ahead and put a little bit more. And then I'm going to make the vinaigrette. Add some lemon juice. Some soy sauce. I'm going to put some of this sesame oil. And of course, straight sesame sometimes can be strong. So I'm going to balance it out with some nice olive oil. Okay. Once that's mixed, kind of toss it. I'm kind of looking for a uh, kind of a salty flavor from the soy sauce, but yet kind of a spicy flavor to go along with that. Okay, so taste this. Need a little bit more sesame oil. Now the, the the dish that I'm doing now is just a very simple dish that we like to do in the restaurant. It's, it's not really complicated. There's a lot of ingredients that go into the uh, dish itself, but what we want to do is highlight the freshness of all the ingredients that we use. We just make it very simple and a straightforward uh, taste. Slice it like this to see how it comes out. Okay, you can see it's nice and translucent. Still raw. What you want to do is slice it as, as thin as possible, but not to really shred or rip the meat. And of course, you can kind of lay it out any way you like, but it's kind of nice to expand it a little bit. Then what you can do is uh, garnish that <clears throat> with some uh, enoki mushrooms, and then I have some uh, nice chives that you can just kind of put on top, and some mango that are built like a forest right on top. Bon appétit, great chefs, great city.